Today on Tiki Fire Toy Reviews, Marvel Legends Loki from the Onslaught series by Toy Biz. Hello, Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Toy Review. And today I'm reviewing the Marvel Legends Loki figure made by Toy Biz back in 2006. And this is from the Onslaught series. It came with a piece of Onslaught. The right arm of Onslaught. It says there, collect all six Onslaught series figures and build your own Onslaught. And I'll be honest, I really don't care about Onslaught or building Onslaught. And I never really was a big fan of that whole Onslaught series. It just kind of seemed ridiculous to me. So I didn't buy this for the piece. I bought it for the Loki figure. So who knows, maybe it'll go in my you know, pile of stuff to get rid of on eBay or something. Who knows? All right, so let's see. It says it includes a diorama. Oh, okay. 32-page comic book. This is features Journey into Mystery with the Mighty Thor. So this is an old one, not like the pack-in on the Thor comic, on the Thor figure that I reviewed before this one. Huh, interesting. Uh, superposable, 34 points of articulation. He comes with a sword. He comes with, of course, his classic comic look with the giant horns. It looks like he's got one of those rubberized capes like like Thor has. So, let's take a look. Let's spin around. This did come out back in 2006. And there on the back, you can see it says, Power Grid, Intelligence, Loki is above a 4. Strength, he's about a 5. Speed, about a 2. Durability, about a 5. Energy projection, about a 6. Yeah, he's all about magic and that kind of thing. Fighting skills, none whatsoever. Because Loki is a schemer, so that makes sense. It says height 6 foot 4 inches, 1.93 meters. Weight 525 pounds or 238.1 kilograms. Boy, these Asgardians, they must weigh a lot more than they look like. Yeah, I'd hate to see, like, I'd hate to see, like, uh, who is it? Baldar, I think, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> the Warriors 3, I'd hate to see what he weighs. Alright, eyes, green, hair, black, gray. Adopted by Odin, Loki could have been a beloved god. However, his jealousy of his foster brother, Thor, and desire for Odin's throne led him from his honored place. Now this rogue prince will stop at nothing to destroy Thor, and all he holds dear to gain control of awesome Asgard. Very cool. And there it's got the Onslaught series figures. We've got Abomination, which I already have, but I haven't reviewed yet. We've got Pyro, which I have. You got Lady Deathstrike and Blackheart and Green Goblin. And looks like he there's an alternate Green Goblin that has Norman Osborn's head. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, kind of crappy that they make you get an alternate figure. I know one thing I like about Hasbro is a lot of times they give you the extra head. So that's kind of cool. And it looks like Loki has a alternate, too, because he's got a little bubble there. It looks like he's got a crown, so maybe that's after one of those times when he tricks... Asgardians and Odin and Thor and giving him the crown. I don't know. So pretty cool. This this looks like a series that had a lot of villains. It was all villains. So that's kind of neat. But do I want all those villains? Not really. No. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. Okay. So let's see. Alright, so what comes in the package? Well first there's this backdrop. And it's got a throne. Looks like the throne of Odin. And it's got all the people bowing. And there's your backdrop. Because Loki was always trying to take over the throne. So that's kind of neat. Okay, you also have a journey into mystery with the mighty Thor. Copy, uh, this was issue 116, not for resale. Time has come for the trial of the gods. Very cool. Alright, and here is the right hand of Onslaught. Lame. And here is Loki out of the package. And Loki is really cool looking, but he's really hard to pose. I'm going to have to work with him some more. Like the Thor figure, he's kind of top heavy. With the horns, they want to pull him forward. The cape wants to pull him back. So I have him kind of precariously perched here. I may have to use some museum putty or something else when I'm putting him in dioramas and things like that. Because... He doesn't really look too great just posed like this, I don't think. <laughs> but um, overall, does the figure look good? Sure. The figure looks really cool, and this is the classic version of Loki. Let's take a little closer look at him here. 
He's got a sword that comes out of his hand. His hand does bend at the wrist. Articulation, he's got the typical toy biz. Swivel at the waist just a little bit. He's got the ball joint hips. Well, leg at the top. Looks like he should swivel here at the hip, but no, I don't think he does. Okay, he just swivels there. It's like he's joined. Okay, he's just joined right there. Okay, he does have a double jointed knee. He does swivel at this boot cuff. His foot will go up and down. His toe will go up and down. He does have a ball jointed shoulder, though it's hard to see because it's up under this little cape thing he's got on. And his wrist does do that. It does swivel right above there at the cuff. And he does have a double jointed elbow, unlike the Thor figure that I reviewed previously. He does have the scarred and beaten looking face. He does have these horns on here, which that is the classic look Loki. I mean, that is awesome. Okay, his cape looks like it might come out actually. Oh, it does. That's awesome. That's good, actually. Because you might be able to actually pose him without the cape. And his head will turn left and right, although with the cape on it doesn't work so well. And posability. Well, they definitely tried to make him posable, but he's so top-heavy with these horns. And when he's got the cape on, it's ridiculous. So, as far as that goes, I don't know. He does have this bend at the chest like the most of the toy Biz figures did have like i said earlier this one did come out in 2006 so it's a nine-year-old figure i'm messing with here so not surprisingly he's got a bit of a he's a bit of a tough guy to to mess with too much because he's nine years old his joints are kind of gummied up a little bit and clogged up a little bit but that's okay i mean he's still a great looking figure would i recommend getting him well, if you want classic look Loki, as far as I know, this is the only way to go. So, yeah, you definitely need this one if you want old Loki, old classic Loki. So, pretty cool. And does he look good with Thor? Well, let's see. Yeah, actually, well, if I can get Thor to quit swiveling at the waist. Loki doesn't want to swivel at the waist. Thor won't stop swiveling at the waist. Guess Thor wants to twist. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. <laughs> okay. Are you worthy to twist, Thor? Certainly. Okay. So there you go. Pretty cool figure. And would I recommend getting him? Sure. I mean, this guy can be had fairly cheap. He's 10 to 20 bucks plus shipping on eBay right now. So pretty darn cool. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review of the evil Loki. And... Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please check out my other videos. I got tons and tons of toy review videos. I got some book reviews even. Hadn't done those in a while, but I plan to get back to some of those too. And I've got other stuff on the way. So thanks a lot for everything and for your time. Appreciate it.